There are over 600 muscles in the human body, and they have three main functions. The production of heat, maintaining a balanced posture, and, most importantly for athletes, movement. There are many muscles in the human body, such as the cardiac muscle, that can be described as involuntary, meaning they contract outside of our conscious control. However, the majority of the muscles in the human body are classified as voluntary because we control them. These are the skeletal muscles that attach to bones and move the skeleton. While in combination muscles can produce complex movements, each individual muscle is only capable of two things, contraction and relaxation. To understand muscular contraction, we'll need to examine the specialised cell structure of muscles. A muscle consists of bundles of muscle fibres, and these fibres are made up of smaller units called myofibrils. A myofibril is a series of filaments joined end to end. When stimulated, the filament slides into itself, shortening the length. When thousands of filaments shorten simultaneously, they produce the powerful contraction of the muscle. When the stimulus is removed, the filament slides out again to its original length, relaxing the muscle. The stimulus to contract is transmitted from the brain to the muscle by the nervous system in the form of an electrical impulse. These impulses are sent by nerve cells called motor neurons. One motor neuron doesn't stimulate the whole muscle, but only a number of fibres within that muscle. The motor neuron and the fibres it stimulates is called a motor unit. The smaller muscles of the body, like those in the eyes or the fingers, contain relatively few motor units, each controlling a small number of muscle fibres. This allows delicate and accurate movements to be made. The larger muscles, like the hamstrings, contain many motor units, each controlling a large number of muscle fibres.